A gorgeous day. What a way to wrap up the month of August. Sunny and warm and beautiful on the Big Lake. Hello, South Haven, South Beach Live. Thanks to our partners at Horizon Broadband, our Weather Alert Network camera here looking out over the big blue Big Lake there. And you can see it is a gorgeous, gorgeous afternoon there. You know, it has been a bit breezy today, actually windier away from the lake than closer to it. South Haven, for example, with a max gust today of only 18, but near 30 in Kalamazoo. 33 in GR and 35 in Big Rapids. So it has been a little bit windy at times. That's bringing in more of that comfy air too. It's 80 right now in Kalamazoo and upper 70s in Grand Rapids and Marshall, Battle Creek and South Haven where we were just looking live is also at 78 degrees. That's up about five, six, seven degrees from where we were yesterday. So it is getting just a little bit warmer out there and our dew points are up but only by a degree or two. And so we're still really in the comfy category. It's a bit humid closer to the lakeshore, but inland really pleasant with those dew points right now in the mid to upper 50s. A uh, live look in downtown Kalamazoo where we're seeing lots of sunshine coming through right now. Blue sky all around and you can see the flag flying there on top of that fifth third building and you can see it is a little bit stiff there with that gusty wind that's blowing in. Check out our satellite radar and it echoes what we just saw on that live camera there. As we're looking at clear skies, we take a bigger picture here and look at this, all is quiet in the neighborhood. Showers way to the east and out to the west and that means for us some smooth sailing for tonight. Of course, the big question though, with this all important last summer holiday coming our way, what's it going to be like? Well, team coverage on that part of the weather story with meteorologist Will Haney, he's in the studio. Will? Yeah, Keith, I don't know about you. When I think Labor Day weekend, my mind jumps to food. It is also close to the time I eat dinner, so that's the inspiration behind this graphic a little bit. We have some heat coming our way, at least for Friday and Saturday. The first half of your Labor Day weekend, a little bit warm and a touch humid. That could spark a few showers and storms on Saturday. That chance, though, only about 30%. We will be cooler by Sunday and Monday, but still a bit warmer than average, which average for early September here in West Michigan is highs in the upper 70s. It's a weak front that will be dropping in from the north throughout the day on Saturday. That will trigger again those scattered showers and storms, but by no means is this a washout. And in fact, this is going to drop a bit farther south, and that's what brings the slightly cooler air our way by Sunday and Monday. So if you're thinking of maybe hitting up the lake shore for the unofficial wrap up of summer, we should have mainly green flags, I think, flying at our lake shore. But the one thing to note, we will have a bit of a northerly wind shift from Saturday late till Sunday morning. That could, combined with that high pushing in, drop the water temperature, something we'll be watching for. And it's a good thing to soak up that lake shore while we still can because tomorrow marks the official start of meteorological fall where those highs really start to take a tumble in the next three months. Keith? Saying goodbye to August. Wow, what happened to the month, right? Clear and comfy tonight as we say goodbye to August with a window open night. Overnight lows will be at 58 degrees the first day of September. Lots of sunshine and a little warmer than today with a high of 84 degrees. Here's your Sealy Auto Group seven day forecast working right through that Labor Day holiday weekend with more 80s in store. Andy? All right, Sunday, the first day of the meeting.